at this guy and his dog. Is that you? What's going on team? Welcome to a brand new series here on the channel. Which like Jazz and I are like super. Super duper excited for. Because I feel like it's gonna open up loads of opportunities and we're gonna come and see all of you guys. Well, in the UK, we can't drive through the sea. And we're gonna make the most epic vehicle on Earth. <laughs> wow, that's quite a big... It's a big statement, it's a bold statement, but we're gonna do it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yep! Today, we're here at Transport HQ in the middle of absolutely nowhere, Lutterworth. We, we went past sheep, miniature donkeys, cows, to this beautiful building <laughs> where... Well, it was quite disappointing, actually. We thought we ordered a transporter <laughs> and it turned... Uh, this, this what happened. <laughs> <laughs> We'd suit this. I think so. Yeah. Can you imagine? I don't, I don't think you see it. But this is like something that you would blow up on Top Gear. You know, when you've seen Top Gear and it blows up. Yes. Hey, that. This is nice. I like no, you, know the, you know the caravans when they always get the exploding caravans? Anyway, this isn't actually ours. No, this isn't actually ours. Ours is just over there and we're going to reveal it in a second. Don't know how often we're going to do these episodes, but we're going to do them. We're just going to keep you updated as we build it and then. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's some cool vehicles. Look at that. This is really cool. Ours will not look like this. Look at that. Yeah. What is that? Wow, it has a, like literally a full roll cage. And this is the one that you're going to try and set a record in? Yeah, we want to break the Nürburgring commercial speed record and the quarter mile commercial record. This should be 1,000 brake horse to Tesla large Model S motors in it. So. It should be like not 60 in three and a half seconds. We'll probably see this as we build ours. It'll be hor horrible to drive, but it'll be quick. You know what this is going to be like? You know, like one day, this is going to pull up next to a Lamborghini or like, you know, one of those boy racers at like the traffic lights. And he's going to nod his head. Bring it. <laughs> and he's just going to smoke it. You know, like um, those drag races in America. The ones that just, they have those stock cars that turn up and absolutely bang it. It's gonna be one of those. That was actually part of the motivation. So, here's another one, look at this, this is sick. Look, it just looks fancy. You want a sound system? Whoa! Don't let your ears bleed. This is Alpine Audio's own demo van. It's got a, like a nearly 50 inch TV. I love that it's a curve as well. Yeah, and enough so good. sound systems If you turn this up to full blast, you would be vibrated out of the, the machine instantly. Hello. Hello. Oh, it's always a good day when you get to see a dog. You saw this the last time we came here, but it was quite a while ago. I just wanted to show it again. Look, it's just complete off-road. Like. <laughs> Looks like you're going on safari. You could you could take that anywhere. And then okay, time for the big reveal. Here we go. Look at that colour! You saw all those other ones. Look at this one. Team, this is our Volkswagen Transporter start line T6.1 150 DSG with loads of extras. <laughs> Not the dog. So business pack, which is aircon and front rear parking sensors, front fog lights, heated seats. We definitely need those parking sensors. Uh, twin factory swivel seats so you can turn around and face the other way around. I love that. Uh, reverse camera. We need that as well. We definitely need that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh, Ooh, fancy. Oh, you fancy, huh? <laughs> um, car play and all that jazz. And, wait, wait, one big, one big thing with this van is we got it in a flannel grey, which is on Volkswagen's special order colour list, and uh, we think it's the first one in the UK of this colour. I'm pretty sure it's the first flannel grey T6.1. It's the best colour Volkswagen ever did. It's a, it's a really early colour they did with the T45 and then they've just relaunched it as a special order colour on the 6.1. We picked the best colour. I picked the best colour. Yeah, just, just <laughs> So right now... I want to sit in it. I mean, I'll probably be this side. Yeah. <laughs> but it's nice to pretend to be... Well, my feet don't touch the floor, but they don't in a lot of seated situations, to be honest. Yeah, so right now it's pretty much... Quite comfy. As it is. 
<laughs> this is for when I don't want to see Jazz's driving. Ooh. Let's go and see what the plan is. Yeah, let's go talk through the plan. Move, so move one is get the aesthetics of the outside. Yep, definitely. And make it a bit quicker, but we'll come to that afterwards. <laughs> eh? Wee. So Jazz can get more road rage. <laughs> meep, meep. Oh, we need a horn. We need a you did flip horn. someone off on the way here. No, I didn't. I don't do stuff like that. Do I? I don't do I don't flip people off. I just, <laughs> get, I just have some strong words to say. <laughs> <laughs> Behind the wheel of the truck. <laughs> it's just little me. <laughs> Crazy fact before we get into the design, right? The T6.1, Volkswagen sold their entire quota of those vans for 2021 in January. So if you wanted to buy one right the second, you have to wait till 2022. How crazy is that? I, f I feel like the T6.1 is like the, tran uh, the Transformers. You know, like you can do anything to them and make them look totally different. Okay, so we spent quite a lot of time at Transporter HQ and we went through a load of different things. And this probably isn't gonna be the final product, but this is where we got to in terms of plans. Now, as you heard, we're gonna do the exterior first. We're gonna get that all looking nice and then we're gonna fit the interior. And this was kind of the basic look that we went for. We went for a kind of two-tone metallic look with a little bit of branding, but not too much. With the van itself to give it a more sporty, epic, rugged look. We're gonna be lowering it with a new suspension, adding wheel trims, and we're gonna be swapping out the wheels for some big chunky tires. And the plan is to have 17 inch Navis wheels, which are gonna be the first ones in the UK. And what this will do for Jazz and I is mean that the vehicle is gonna be all terrain, but also it's gonna be more forgiving. It means that things like potholes and if we go cross country anywhere, we're not gonna to have to be worrying too much about the rims. The Navis wheels that I'm talking about, they're gonna be a couple of months until they arrive in the UK. So I think before that, whilst we're building the aesthetic, we're gonna be testing out whether we want the black Navis wheels or the bronze Navis wheels by putting the fuel Zephyr wheels on the car in the meanwhile. A couple of other things that we sorted out with the van, exterior wise, is we're gonna get a screen wrap, which is gonna be Transport HQ, Hustle, branded obviously for when we park up and sleep. And the other exterior thing that we're gonna be mounting to the van is an awning. Then we can put a privacy room around the outside of the van and have a little bit more outdoor space. We're also gonna do a couple of different minor adjustments. We're gonna get strip indicators. In a couple of months time, we're gonna get some custom front LED lights. And even as a first draft, I think this T6.1 looks sick. That's the exterior. Now talking about the interior, this is where it gets interesting. This is the kind of look that we're gonna go for. We're gonna go for a U sofa. We're gonna strip out the basic plastic flooring that's in there. We're gonna take out the back seats that we just won't use. It's only Jazz and I and the dog. And we're gonna get some wooden looking style flooring down with some units where I can do some editing. We're gonna put a fridge in here. We're gonna put a battery power pack somewhere hidden away, which we can take out and externally charge so then I can plug my cameras in daily, my laptop, my phone, and every other gadget that needs charging every day. But also, that U-shaped sofa there turns into a bed. So you can slide it out, turns into a flat bed, the whole width of the van. Probably bigger than the one that I have here at home. And then some of the fancy things that we're gonna get. One, the halo headlining with color changing abilities. So around the outside of the ceiling, we're gonna do this kind of effect that you see in here, it's called a halo effect. But the other thing that we're gonna do, which is overkill, but it's gonna look epic, but it's gonna take ages. You've all seen Rolls Royce star ceilings, the twinkly ceilings that you get within a Rolls Royce. We're gonna bang one of those in too. So we can turn off the halo at night and just have the twinkly lights. So you're under the stars without being under the stars. We're gonna get an iPad mount, which is gonna go behind the left passenger seat. So at night when we're chilling, we can either sit back and watch a movie or we can lay in bed and watch a movie. We're also gonna get inside van shades to cover all of the windows so you can pull them down just to aid with the privacy. And then what we're working on is coming out of the back of the U sofa, some sort of cooking ability. So we can just pop the back of the van, pull out a drawer which comes out from under the sofa, cook the bacon and eggs in the morning, and also somewhere tucked away under there, a little pressure washer shower just for when we take the dog for a walk or we get muddy boots and whatever, we don't bring it back into the van. So that's the kind of basic overview of what we came up with and I literally can't wait. So, so yes, this is a car episode, but also look at this. There is a box in the box. This is a pretty cool home gym, if ever I did see one. So when he's not making vans look absolutely epic and he's out here grinding. How many ring muscle-ups have you done? I can't even ring myself. <laughs> <laughs> They're just there for show. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you've got transport to HQ on the wall, wall target, so that's cool. Yeah. And also, hard work pays off. 
Matt. Daft, no. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, because of lockdown and everything, he built a gym, like kept getting pieces of equipment. Now he's got the whole office using it, turning them into machines. It's a legit setup there. Yeah, no, Look, yeah. you got, I've, this is literally like a mini box. You've got yeah. the shelving over there with your wobble, kettlebells, dumbbells. Uh, if you got this far in the video team, please do smash that like button. Legends, it really does help the video. But yeah, that's the kind of plan. I feel like this is going to be a big part of like the next year, you know? We're going to make the van and then we're going to travel around the whole of the UK, come visit some of the boxes that you guys are at. Just hang out and make a cool series. Quick one for all you artists out there. We won't be doing the exterior of the van for another week or two. If you want to have a go at designing the outside of the van with the Hustle logo and the Transport HQ logo, just send it to my Instagram, DM it to my Instagram and you never know, we may change our idea and go, yours looks super cool. We'll do that. And yeah. I'm super excited to build something, you know, take it from what it is right now to like super crazy and the best vehicle on earth. But anyway, team, if you've enjoyed today's video, again, please do smash that like button. Two, if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. And three, if no one's told you today, you're an absolute legend. Hope you have a good morning, night, day, wherever you are. Head over to Transport HQ's YouTube down below for more specific content. And we'll catch you in the next one. It's like, well, you're so close to my face. <laughs> It's like new car smell. It's lovely. I think there is actually a scent that they spray in there. Either that or they all smell the same. Turn around. Yeah. Face the other way. Oh yeah, definitely. I love an armrest. <laughs>